Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I'm the Domestic 4 d and Maya was just accused of murder. Because technically it was her, but it was actually the spirit that she channeled and... Let's try to sort this out. <sighs> Morning. Guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center as soon as possible. Nick! Nick! I... Maya! What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. It was... I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case just yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. <sighs> well, Maya? So you're the master of something of the Korean school of channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since the title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think the channeling isn't real. That's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Maya's channeling, channeling a spirit. Not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on the nurse's appearance. So, what happened? What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes to the body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And then there was blood all over my clothes. <sighs> oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? This is important. What kind of a dream did you have while you were channeling? Uh, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move. I was... It was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah. I can't quite place it, but I know I smelled the same scent before. I guess this is about all of the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What, so what is it? The document requesting me for you to be your attorney, of course. <gasps> but, what's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed a person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it! Help me. Nick, help. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. And when is this trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual. Zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. Mm -hmm. This jewel. This is called a Magatama. 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 It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure I shall lend you her spiritual powers. Well, I got a Magatama. 
Also, when I first played this game and I got this, I keep mispronouncing it to Magama to Magamata. Not sure why. All right then. Nothing else to talk about. So, sli slightly translucent, small, but has a deep, profound aura about it. All right then. Uh, let's go stop by the office quickly, just in case. Ugh. Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Good thing I went back. Why to put it over my phone? Well, let's head back to the village. We gotta find Pearl. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? And meditation room. The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty desert deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. to look for here. Actually, uh, I kind of want to just look at this. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Let's see. Here's one in English. It says, a hundred ways to save money. Being a medium sounds like the rough way of life. Huh. I can think of eight more ways. So then, let's stop by the channeling chamber. Maybe I can get an autopsy report or something. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check the room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or something. A clue or two. Oh. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya! Good sir! Uh, she is one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site. But I should ask her some questions too, while I have the chance. So what happened? I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya? Step away from there! Please leave this area to me! Go quickly and inform the police! Oh yeah, that's what happened. What happened here in this room after I left? Well... First, I struck Mystic Maya on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the Spirit Severing Technique. Spirit Severing Technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. So anyway, about this channeling chamber here. By the way, was this room ex Was it this- What is this room exactly? That's what I want to know. Chanley Chamber, this room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium, medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it into another way, the spirit was borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't it extremely dangerous? 
An experienced medium has, medium has pro little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, this is our first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that recalling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that is? It is that folding screen there. It is the Curian Sacred Writings. Along with the Curian Sacred Urn, they are these villages, this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something has happened to either one, oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the falling screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated, dilapidated old screen after all. Glad she can't read my thoughts and heard me say that. So, how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright? I yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. Th that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But! Pearl is different! Her spiritual strength is great, even greater than some of the main family! Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and has been the pride of the fa Branch family! Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best that you go that for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? I don't know, but I'm not getting another prompt, so I'm just going to look at the screen again. It's a beautiful and expensive falling screen. It also looks quite old. It seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it. Written on it, but I can't read it. <gasps> this is. There's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? This will be important. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. All right. Please tell Maya that I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, M Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <sighs> Um, let's, there's only one thing I wanted to search. That. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on the flooring. The straw on the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to that pool of blood in the center of in the center here. Well, let's go back. We have to look for Pearl, right? Winding way. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Huh. I'm more really worried about this. It's a really old urn, and she mentioned it. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Incinerator. Small incinerator. Eh, nothing new about it. Well, let's go to that side room. Huh? Oh, hey! Like, you're that guy from yesterday? The, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's right! Um, Mr. Smith, Esquire? That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right? Well, I got like three letters, at least. I don't think she's got the point. Anyway, what do you hear? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology in this college, and uh, you told me about that yesterday. The sesameology, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so I, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really? Huh? That's it? Why did you stop me sentence? Did I? So, like, what is I talking about again? Oh. If Lada even ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. What I'm kind of looking about is this box here. That's new. 
Now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folding pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Let's talk a bit. Eeny, eeny, miny. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here? Like what? Like, the medium's training? Or like, how they inherit their spiritual power? I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer? She sure seems to like the carefree type. At least, on the surface. So what happened? Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. So about the victim, Dr. Gray. Oh wow, that was word for word. Wow, that's great. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think I, you asked about him, like, yesterday, too? That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? <laughs> I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? It's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient. Yeah. She was convincing herself of that? Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Ugh. Maybe my badge can do something. Would you take a look at this? Hey, it's like one of those little badges people of Congress all wear. No, 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 I'm, I'm a lawyer. L-A-W-Y-E-R. Huh? Like, so is that what you are? Ugh. Remember this. Like, I'm really sorry, but... And I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? Oh, I'm getting out of here. I can't handle this much stupid. I'm getting out of here. Oh, Pearl! Ah! Y you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Oh, right! Maya said something. Uh, presents... Oh, let's talk to her about Maya. Can you take a look at this, please? Uh, she's really scrutinizing my face. Th that's enough already! I'm not that shifty looking, am I? It's the hair. Alright, uh, Makatama. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. <laughs> oh, I, I am in trouble now. If Morgan sees this like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. <laughs> that's, that's Mystic Maya's. Uh huh? She actually spoke. Who are you? I, I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, I worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's special someone. What? 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 So then, of course. Of course I'm going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Uh, well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest looking shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Whoa, whoa, what? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, oh, what a wonderful relationship. Well, wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't, things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in, a way I, in any way I can. Well, at least she's talking. Uh... At least she's talking now. Um. Alright. 
Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I, I really look up to her. Wow. I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which challenge school are you from? Which challenge school? Yes. For example, I study from the Korean technique. Uh. Oh, I get it. No, 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 I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Law, law, your? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Uh, not that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I haven't no idea. My I did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's that in your hand, anyway? What's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found this yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Alright. Well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. <sighs> um, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. <gasps> but I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with my with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. People's secrets? Yes. If it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Makatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Alright. Pearls joins the party. Funny, because I know someone keeping a secret. Mrs. Iny Miney. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aww, she's like totally cute! Is she like your daughter? What? what? No! How old do you think I am? Come on. Like what, 25, 20? Alright. Well then, let's talk to her. The victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like, totally don't know him? Huh? Huh? What is that? Uh? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Makatama. Only you can see these psych locks, Mr. Nick. Psych locks? Huh. There are more... The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock. But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person, and let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it'll hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof y you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Let's give this Psyche lock a try. Alright. So to do this, simply go, TAKE THAT! Once you, all you have to do is present the Makatama to the person who's lying. And it'll be, and they'll let you know you're lying when you see the special cutscene with the locks. Now, as was told, you'll get an HP bar from earlier, and you'll take, and it'll take physical stress and damage you. If you go on too long, then you'll get too winded and tired out to continue doing this. But So make sure that before you continue doing it, and just clicking random buttons and hoping for the best, that you actually have the proof. Now then, about the victim? Iny Money, 
I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you! Like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Person in Gray. The Dr. Gray in person. What? I do believe that you might have at least indirectly known him. Like, what do you mean? Like, indirectly? I was trying to show that the possibility exists. For now. Hmm, so something to show a possible connection between Aini and Dr. Gray. Listen to newspaper clippings? How about that? Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch. I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Ugh. Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it'll hurt you, she said. If I don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think it through once more time. Right. Uh, uh, one year, patients died at the, at the Great Surgical. Let's check the profiles again. Dr. Gray. Ugh, I don't think I have anything. It may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean? Like, indirectly? I should stop a bit. I don't seem to have all the proof I need. And I don't want to just carelessly get damaged. I think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. I'm really worried about this box. I mean, like, where did it even come from? Because it definitely wasn't here last night. It's for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for box for just that. Mostly empty. Nope. Huh. Well then, let's look, let's look around a bit before I just simply go walking all over. Before I just cause damage. Oh yeah, while we're here, let's um talk about that incinerator. Small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here for a little village. Those are like this, so I found to burn their trash. Nope, Pearl doesn't say anything about it. Moving on. Hmm. Well then, here. Hmm. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be a lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be keep saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow, never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something like that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Nice job, Gumshoe. Anyway. So, what was Maya's charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we got a few pieces. You got proof? Yeah, all right. Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer took they're going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada, I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Lada's hot pictures. Wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. Oh. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? Great. Anyway, about the victim? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. The face is all over the tabloid shows last year. Oh yeah. You know. I was looking through some paper, newspapers last year, and... Hmm. Huh? 
Could have sworn I had. I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets. And boy, are those big. Hmm. Looks really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have bought a, brought a copy to the office when he came by. Yeah, this thing. Uh, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright. Thanks. Alright. Let's look at it. Mimi? Miney? Nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic died of falling asleep in the wheel. Whoa. Really? Oh, I'd better shut my mouth. Uh, what? I'm not gonna give you any information about Evan's spell. Oh. You just gave it to- whatever. Anyway, about tomorrow's trial. About my trial tomorrow? I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma? He is an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in 40 years in his career, and he raised a fearsome di disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed in me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other bad piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? What do you mean? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal. It's Professor... It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a case since... a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Huh. Kid, huh? Wait a sec! 13?! They can't become a prosecutor at the age of 13?! I mean, a prodigy like that? I have to hear something about... Oh, no, no! The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. The country's got a lot of stuff and a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Oh, still, all it takes is me someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks of that case. Edgeworth. Stop it! Get over it, Phoenix! That person is already gone. Thanks, Gumshoe. And now, I can examine this incinerator again. No! Now, because I misclicked, that's all. Now I can go talk to her again. Now that I have the proof, take that! Aie Mani, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you! Like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean? Like, indirectly? I should try to show the possibility existed for now. So something that, presents, that shows a possible connection between Aini and, and Dr. Gray. I showed this because earlier she had said that she was a patient. But now, take this! Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney? Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't have to be a relative of yours, would she? <laughs> so you noticed. She, she was my older sister. 
I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? <laughs> Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is... Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister! After you successfully unlock it, your health goes back. Now she's willing to talk about it. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... My sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was, like, a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So that's why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sister so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died of malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I'm, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but... You might need people meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Can I get a good look at this better look at this box now? It wasn't here. Was empty. No, I guess I can't. All right, so now I know about I uh, Mimi Miney. Hmm. Interesting. So you really helped me out there, Gumshoe. So, let's go in here, see if there's anyone. Nope. Let's see if Lotta Hart is back. Nope, she won't be back. Just occurred to me. Let's go here. Mr. Nick. Hmm? What's wrong? I've never left Korean Village before. R really? Wow, that's, uh, pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, hey, wait! She ran off. Again. Well, I know I need secret now, but... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know what, if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> Well, let's just go. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? <gasps> that voice. Uh, Maya! Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's older sister. And my mentor. She was a top-notch defense, defense lawyer. But a certain case forced her into... retirement. But, whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help. Just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world, and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your clients. Uh, a lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. And especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, 
So, tell me about it. I'm going to guess that my sister's in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what, is, what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is? Tell me, please! And believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Good old Mia. Not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah. She says she dreamed about that she died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels her own spirit, disappears. Which means that it is an, that's impossible for her to dream during that time. <laughs> then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow to show, to show how she was set up. What about evidence? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Well, this is the only key I have, so... Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... At that time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for, for the surprising. Huh? Mia? What? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the Cyclops. Which means... Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me... What in the world is going on? And so, this case has definitely took, taken a turn for the weird. I like the new mechanic with the Magatama, as it made it a little more into problem, solve, problem solving than just in case, in the case trials. It's really cool, and I really am looking forward to this trial. But what do you think about this new Von Karma successor? Huh. At just age 13, he's going to be pretty tough to face. Well, I'm Louis Van 64 d See you next time, and let's play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. See you next time.